Hello everyone. Last session, in the last session, we will discuss about how to draw the border plot with the example. So, before entering into deeply into the border plot, first we will discuss some important points. In that, in the border plot, n poles at origin. So, in the given open loop transfer function, we have n poles at origin. So, that means, so he give open loop transfer function the here n poles at origin that means i will write g of s h of s is equal to 1 by s power n that means n poles are available at the origin how to draw the border plot for this how we have to analyze the first point you know the first point the first point is first it is converted into the frequency domain g of h of j omega equal to 1 by j omega whole power n and first next is you have you have to find out the magnitude so what is the magnitude magnitude is modulus of 1 by j omega whole power n so by doing this so directly we will get omega power n how there is no means so just go for no problem at all out of 0 square plus omega n square whole square you will get the omega omega power n this is the magnitude and what is next step but we require magnitude in decibels db how to convert into decibels multiply with 20 log this gain that is 1 by omega power n so we, we should modify this how 20 log it is in denominator taken to the numerator that is omega power minus n so it is uh, power minus n is come into the front side that is you will get minus n into 20 log omega n into 20 log omega so finally you will get the magnitude in the db is the minus 20 n log omega this is the magnitude for the given system next next what we have to find out next next step is we have to find out the phase so before that phase just you need to find out you need to find out another important point that is just do this just do this magnitude in db differentiate with respect to the omega so not omega differentiate with respect to the log omega so by doing the differentiation log omega will be cancelled uh, will become 1 the remaining part is the minus 20 n just keep it side it is nothing but the slope it will be useful it will be useful in the drawing the magnitude plots yes next step so we will deeply discuss about this just keep in your mind and next point is the phase so how to find out the phase the phase is nothing but phase of g g of h of j omega g of h of j omega so by doing this simply we have 1 by j power omega n so how we will find out how we will find out this so simply uh, simply we should find out n times is there angle n times angle is there means so the one for zero this is n times angle means tan inverse of omega by zero omega by zero so tan inverse of omega by zero means this is n times omega by 0 means this is the 5 by 2 why I am taking this n that means so omega power n means I can write like this omega power e1 omega power 2 and omega omega and up to omega power n so if you apply if you find out the phase we have some phase some phase some phase some phase these phases will be added the phases will be added not omega these are the all are the j omegas j omegas up to j omega right okay so we have 
5 by 2 and the 5 by 2 and the 5 by 2 like that. The last point is also n 5 by 2. So I will write this n number of we don't know that's why n 5 by 2. So this is 0 by n 5 by 2 will give the phase. The phase is g h j omega phase we have minus n 5 by 2 minus n 5 by 2. So how to understand this n 5 by 2. So I will give a small example to understand this. For example we have three poles at origin. We have the three poles at origin. Then what is the phase? First we, we should go for the magnitude. What is the magnitude in dB? Magnitude in dB equal. What is the formula? Minus 20 n log omega right minus 20 n log omega yeah so magnitude db directly we can write minus 60 db minus 60 db directly okay why it is 20 minus n into 20 because omega power n we have 20 log yes means it become 3 it become the 3 okay almost minus 60 db and what about angle so what about the slope here slope value that means so simply look at here g of h of j omega equal to 1 by j omega whole power 3 okay in place of you should substitute 3 we will get the 60 if the frequency is the 10 if the frequency is 10 right next slope is so this slope is useful minus 20 into 3 slope value also 60 db per decade slope you will get the every 10 every 10 times of frequency is the decade that's why decade okay what about angle what about angle you should take the phase every time you should write the phase what is the angle here minus n means 3 5 by 2 3 5 by 2 this is the angle okay minus 3 5 by 2 what is this at at omega equal to 10 for example at omega equal to 10 at frequency equal to 10 if the frequency changes an automatically magnitude will be changes okay magnitude will be changes if the same magnitude if we take the same magnitude that will be different if we take the same magnitude for the frequency in db for frequency equal 0.1 for example if you substitute this in the magnitude what is magnitude there so if you substitute this magnitude means minus 20 into 3 into log log 0 0.1 0 0.1 by base 10 so we should do the some qualification uh, cal calculation minus so for example not uh, don't take the 3 just directly go for the n directly go for the n not 3 mm, now you will get omega equal 0 0.1 now you will get I will modify minus 20 n I will write log 0 0.1 10 power minus 1 by base 10 so then magnitude will become it become that 20 n magnitude will become the 20 n okay become the 20 n if the same magnitude db in frequency equal to 1 for example frequency equal to 1 then minus 20 n log 1 base 10 log 1 base 10 basically 0 then magnitude become 0 like that the magnitude values is changes magnitude values is changes so we will write first the magnitude plot first the magnitude plot so we will take this magnitude plot here generally the magnitude plot e dBs we have in dBs just you take first frequency is 0.1 here 
just keep the frequency is the 0.1 the next frequency is 1 here next frequency is 1 here next frequency is the 10 here for 0.1 frequency we have we have magnitude my magnitude is 20n magnitude is 20n means somewhere i will take this point is the plus 20n plus 20n for omega equal 1 what is the value this is the 0 for omega equal 10 you will get this is somewhere here just combine together just combine together this is the magnitude plot this is the magnitude plot that is plot is start from here and it will flow it will flow in like this it is the log omega this is the log omega what about phase what about phase phase is minus n phi by 2 phase is n phi by 2 so phase is directly we know that the phase value I will I will draw here the phase so same thing just this is the log 10 log 10 means starts from 0.1 10 increases this means 1 this means 10 this means 100 like that it will be increases so here so here for the 0.1 uh, for, for any phase if you take any frequency the phase value is fixed that is minus n phi by 2 so for example this is plus n phi by 2 just assume this is n phi by 2 and this is the minus n phi by 2 minus n phi by 2 so therefore if you increase the frequency from 0 0.1 1 10 100 like this the free the phase pl phase plot is only constant phase plot is only the constant here by varying the frequency by varying the frequency it will be flows the magnitude form is like this but the frequency in case of phase so this is for the phase in case of phase it will be like this it will be like this okay this is the for if n poles at the origin this is the magnitude plot and this is the phase plot magnitude plot and the phase plot okay so simple thing just follow the procedure just following the procedure and finding the magnitude and next finding the phase just to substitute these values the most important point is you should consider the axis value is log log base 10 okay this is for magnitude and this is for the phase okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you